Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I wish to discuss with you this evening uh, this whole bullshit about, I believe it's called Jessica's Law. This thing on MySpace about internet bullying. Now, what really gets to me is the whole verdict. The dickwad who committed the crime got away scot-free with a three-year sentence not charged with murder, not even charged with negligence, just more or less charged with the crime. And the defense attorney says that they feel that they shouldn't be held responsible for the murder because the perp's actions were, ta were made not to commit bodily harm, but just to humiliate. Now, let's take a second here and step back for about 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. Now, let's take back centuries when people break up with one another. Someone takes it really hard and that person commits suicide. Now, granted, they didn't break up with them because they wanted that person to die, but it happened. So now you take this dickwad that makes a false MySpace account portraying to be this girl's boyfriend, humiliates her, and breaks up with her in a humiliating way, and then go has the audacity to say that did not have the aspect of killing her. That the, they did not do this to cause her death. They just did this to humiliate her. First of all, she had what I, what I believe I heard, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be quoted here, but she had a case like depression or some kind of issue, which you take that aspect there, and that's a point of that, that's a point of view. Then you take just the simple fact of being dumped online, which is hurtful enough, and put that with a depression, and you have yourself a mixture of a deadly concoction. Concoction, I'm sorry. As you can probably tell by the sound of my voice, I got myself a nice nasty cold and a whole bunch of other shit wrapped up. California weather out here sucks ass. One day it's hot, one day it's cold, one day it's raining, next day it's nice. And with me working the last three weeks and having one day off, my body's worn down and this is what the results are. So anyhow. So now, you take, the, the defense attorney also says that parents should spend more time paying attention to what their children do online. That's true to a point, but an aspect like this, what's that going to help? Are you going to stand there next to your kid while your daughter's being dumped? Pat your daughter on the shoulder, hold them and say, hey honey, it's okay, you know, he's such an asshole anyways, he doesn't deserve you. Your daughter cries, leave me alone mom, I don't want to be, I just want to be left alone, I'm going to go by the room. Okay, sure, okay, honey. I'll be down here if you need me. I'll go check up on you a little bit. Okay. Next thing you know, you go and check up, and your kid just killed himself. What's the problem? What what problem was just solved by the parent being there to assist the kid's online experience? Kid is still dumped. Kid is still dead. My aspect with I'm sure millions of people that have not heard this trial <coughs> and now are getting the, the gist of it and those people that have heard the trial already, the verdict both agree that the asshole who caused Jessica's death should be taken the maximum charge second degree homicide and maybe first degree nine and ten um, harassment uh, I don't know, I ain't no attorney, but you got those things are for sure. Maybe second degree is second degree murder. They had no intention of causing any bodily harm, but the death was the result of their actions. 
It probably could be like first degree. It could, definitely could be first degree premeditated. Now, harassment, they could get them, they get them on. Which, I mean, that's probably just a penalty. It's a slap on the wrist, give me some money kind of shit. That ain't no jail time. They ain't a punishment. That ain't even something that you really look at in your fucking criminal record. What were you arrested for? Harassment. Oh, yeah. But still, I mean, three years for causing the death of a teenager by falsely claiming to be her boyfriend and saying, bitch, I'm done with you, la da da. I don't know what the whole message was, but whatever this person said and did that caused her death should get a little more, actually a lot more, than three years. Three years of the slap on the wrist. That's like saying, hey, be careful, don't do it next time. I don't know. Tell me, what do you guys think? Alright, peace out.